I have one suggestion before we tighten all the way down. What? Oh, there's a turkey. There's a turkey right there. Hey. Howdy, Big Mess, along with Braden Mess here, Mess of Branch Outdoors. And what we're going to do this afternoon here is the first of March. I think it's March the 4th. It's extremely warm. It's up in the 70s today. But we are here on the family property that we do some turkey hunting on. It's just right up here behind us is where Braden got his uh, uh, first bird here. It'll be two years ago coming up here next month. And we got a trail camera for Christmas. We picked it up at Academy Sports and Outdoors. It is the Browning Strike 4 Sub Micro Series HD camera. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to place this camera in the area where, where we know turkeys come through and use this. Where we're at here, there are more trail cameras and some places have cellular service and some don't. But what we're going to do is we're going to hang this camera in an area where we know that turkeys come through here and other wildlife just to make sure, number one, that the camera's working. Yeah, and then that. we're going to be able to move it around before the season hits. So we're going to jump in here, walk you through the process of what we have to go through and get started on it. Does not come with an SD card, but we had one there at the house. So we're going to open this up. And the way that this trail camera is going to come, it's going to come packaged with the instructions on the underside here. It's going to have your strap that you put on the tree. As I mentioned, does not come with batteries and or SD card, but we currently have an SD card for it. So we're going to go through the setup process. So we're going to set that to the side. We're going to remove the plastic. And of course, everything will go out of here with us. Anything we pack in, we pack it out. And then some, so our strap, I'm just going to I know. Let Braden hold that right there. So here's the camera itself. You can see it's micro. So we're going to put this here because the SD card is right there. And if we go to our quick start guide, step one is to press the battery tray eject button and release the battery tray. Uh, this was hard the first time I did it. So I was like, what in the crap is going on here? <laughs> so we're going to open it up. It's like a lot of your trail cameras out there. The eject button is right here. And then you've really got to pull hard and it actually does say that on there. I was afraid I was going to break it. Uh, you can have a, an external power source if you want to. You can take your SD card out of here, put onto your iMac. We use an iMac, but I actually have a portable SD card reader that I'm going to use with this. So it takes one, two, three, four, five, six. It takes six batteries. You can use uh, alkaline batteries and some other ones, but we got some alkalines right here. So we're gonna open that up. Brayden, if you'll kind of open it up there for me. Work on this. Set my spare ones here to the side in the box so we do not lose those. Make sure you get your polarity set up properly. These say high energy, so I don't know how high energy they are. So there we go. Take six, slide it in. Then we're inserted. Using the control pad, set the date and time. Press the mode button once. I guess I gotta turn it on. No SD card, we know that. It does take one of the larger SD cards. Let's put in the SD card. I'm going to put that in my pocket. Now let's turn it on and see what happens. Beautiful, all right. So when you go to mode, Set date and time, beautiful. Press the mode button, this will take you. Press the enter button once, this will select the, so I'm guessing E is enter. Let's hope yep. so. So we are in the month of March, Wish enter. We... Good. We got that. Oh, mode, mode. It's not working well. Uh oh. So I got that. All right. Today is the fourth, I believe. Uh, yes. So we're going to set that. Now we do have a time change this weekend, so I'm think I'm going to go ahead and just put it to uh 4:30. And no. the year is it's got us on 66. Oh god. We're not in year 66. No, not yet. So 2024, and then what time is it, Bert? 3.32. Well, that's not off by much. Year 24. You said 32? Yes. 
Good deal. Enter. All right, so we've done that part. He's gonna hold that. All right, we're gonna press the down arrow to continue to the next camera setting option, operation mode. It says trail. The setting will take still pictures of game during the day, day and night when motion is detected. This is the most popular setting. So that's what we're gonna do. Beautiful. Uh, to continue, set the cameras, press it. So we're good there. I wanna keep it at trail. Photo quality, medium is MP. Uh, we're gonna do high. Press enter to save that. Okay, beautiful. Picture delay, one minute. We're gonna do five seconds, what the heck, because we're gonna be back down here next week. Yep. Okay, multi-shot mode is off. Temp unit Fahrenheit, correct. Camera one, we're gonna leave that. Image data strip on, motion test. We will do a motion test. We might have needed to put that on the tree, but we didn't. All right, so here's what I struggle with the most, folks, is strapping these cuts to the tree. So we're going to strap it up here. We're going to give it a test and see what happens. It's not that hard. Imagine. It says to place it about three feet up, but we're going to kind of go right here in this general area. That's how we're going to do it. I have one suggestion before we tighten all the way down. What? Oh, there's a turkey. There's a turkey right there. Hen. We just had a hen fly over top of us, folks. Yes, we did. Here. Where'd it come from? I, I don't know, incoming. God sent one to us. <laughs> God said, here you go. You ain't gonna see none during season. The suggestion was to kind of set some of that down in here so the wind wouldn't catch this, or the camera wouldn't go off to the strap line in the wind. I seen that. You hear the putt? I hear, I see it. That bird just came from Nowhere over top of us there. Heck, it's probably, it's probably taking a nap. Here. That's what I need to replicate. They can come from nowhere. But some of coyote come up in the field. So anyway. I'll get out of your way here. We know that part. So now we got to do a test. All right. Oops. Just, Just like we do the microphones. That hen's still up there, it's clucking. I don't know what I mean. Mode. I hear more. They're over there by the road where we come. Who's behind us? That's that's over, that's Cross Creek. Hey, I bet you went right up there and come down and snuck up on us. Kind of want to just sit here. Better, better admire them now if we're not going to see them during the season. We're going to do a motion test. Got us. Blinked red. Beautiful. We're good. So there you go, folks. We have got the Browning camera set up. The strike force. I don't know if you can hear the hen behind us. Um, she flew right over top of us right here. I don't know where in the heck she flew from. There ain't no um, telling. We just heard the foo, 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 foo. Yeah. And she's just right up yonder it's, she's, putting. She's I kind of I kind of know where she's going to actually um, there. But anyway, we'll check back next week and, and see what happens here. Thank you folks for watching. If you have any questions about this camera or any of the stuff that we're going to be using, let us know. We hope to bring you some hunts. Uh, I'd love for you to join the Mesa Branch Outdoor family. It, we don't have a ton of money, but we'd like to have a ton of fun and share it with you. Hit that subscriber button. We're trying to get 200, 500, then 1,000. And if you want to help us, if you're interested in some hats like this, let us know. Uh, we, we'll put them up there for you if you want to help uh, help us be able to invest in more gear. Thank you, folks, for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Y'all take care.